hi in this video i'm going to talk about which specialization which you should go for if you want to pursue a career in quantitative finance someone has asked me this question in the comment section i thought of making a video on that well there is no short answer to this question actually so you have to listen to the entire video right uh, because there is no uh, very objective single answer to this question okay this is the this is the specialization so yeah go for that no that's uh, not how you, i will uh, answer this question because um, there are many aspects to it right what area of quant finance you want to go into right and uh, where in the which university uh, are you best out of asia or europe or us you know uh, do you want to work in trading, quant trading, or do you want to become a quant researcher? Or will you be working in quant risk management area? Right? Uh, right? It depends on a lot of things. So please listen to the entire video in order to understand actually uh, the answer to this question. Well, the thing is that if you are very sure about making a career in quant finance, I will advise you and you, you have a bachelor degree. You, let's assume that you have a four year bachelor degree. And you want to make a career in quant finance so there are two amazing ways one is go for a master's degree in financial engineering or quant finance right in india there are not many go abroad go to europe go to us you can uh, yeah you can do a, a master in financial engineering or you know master in mathematical finance or quant finance uh, master's degree mostly these master degrees are two-year master's degrees there are some one-year programs in europe uh, good ones actually in uk or in netherlands or in uh, france uh, you can also do this uh, you know programs from these places that's the best route but that's not for everybody actually not everybody can afford a master's degree uh, you know it's it's expensive uh, doing a full-time master's degree is, is really good actually, but it's very expensive for many people and not many can afford it, right? If you are not in that category, then you can simply learn on your own um, and then apply for a job, do an internship and get a job, you know, get your first experience, right? Uh, you will realize that after, after a few years, uh, yeah, your education doesn't really matter much. Actually, it's more like software engineering where, you know, you learn software engineering um, even though you do not have any qualification in computer science and you could still get a job in IT or in, in, in the tech firms and can still compete with people coming from CS background, computer science background, right? That's exactly the case in, in uh, quantitative finance. There are a few um, caveat to that. One is if you are uh, going to be working in uh, more trading sort of firm, um, I think they, they prefer, uh, you know, CS guys nowadays more, you know, computer science guys. So if you're very sure that you want to be a quant trader, you work in, you want to work in, you know, high frequency trading in that sort of thing, I think then go for, you know, uh, a computer science specialization, right? If you have a CS background, your chances of getting hired in these firms is more than if you have a financial engineering background, um, right? Um, sounds a bit contradictory but uh, but that's that's the thing actually because there is more coding there and less about finance there is very little finance academic finance used in quant trading there are a few you know models industry uh, acceptable models but they build their own algorithms internal algorithms which are not known to the outside world it will be completely basic algorithms but you know you don't need any finance to build those algorithms so there they need computer science guys or maths guys. Computer science in India and US, but in Europe, mathematics or physics graduates are also preferred. Uh, I mean, a degree in mathematics is as respected in UK as a CS computer science guy. In fact, if you have a bachelor degree in mathematics from Oxford or Cambridge, that's you know more prestigious than computer science, having a computer science degree. That's uh, that's the thing. That's uh, that's the case in UK. It's a bit old school, uh, whereas in the US and India, uh, you see that uh, you know computer science graduates are preferred in many places compared to you know uh, if you have a degree in physics or math, uh, right? So computer science is the answer to this question, right? However, 
there are many other areas for example if you want to become a researcher you want to work in asset management firm then it doesn't matter whether what sort of a degree you have but if you have a degree in financial engineering if you have a degree in financial economics or just economics or econometrics statistics then chances of you being hired is more because you already have studied a lot of econometrics time series modeling volatility forecasting you have enough knowledge to do some programming like in asset management firms you won't be doing a lot of programming i mean for some like for text um, infrastructure yes you will be doing but uh, if you're doing research work then uh, your programming will be a secondary sort of a skill for you right so if you want to work in those sort of firms you know either you know have a, a finance sort of degree finance economics financial engineering that sort of degree or uh, just uh, you know have any quant quantitative degree in engineering or computer science mathematics statistics and learn a lot of these books and course do some courses and you can apply okay so that's uh, that's the answer so so the, uh, for quant research the, the degree program is less relevant and then comes to quantitative risk management right for a very long time uh, only economist and statistician used to be hired in these departments but more recently i see even engineers and uh, you know physicists mathematicians all being hired in fact there are more physicists nowadays in these uh, yeah in quant risk management than than economist um, but what is the most preferred uh, specialization i still believe it is you know either economics finance or financial engineering right but that does not mean that if you do not have a, a specialization from these uh, you know these three categories you, you will not be hired that's not the case in fact i do see a lot of engineers engineering graduates uh, working in quant risk management nowadays uh, so quant risk management is about you know risk management risk modeling work in in big banks and insurance company you know, those sort of company in consulting actually right in um, you know consulting big four consulting they have a lot of quants right uh, they prefer uh, mba finance guys they prefer msc statistics uh, but if you have a bachelor degree from good places uh, nits iits in india uh, they prefer these people or if you do not have a bachelor degree in such place from such places but you still have learned a lot of things on your own uh, you have understanding of some econometric modeling understanding of financial mathematics and understanding of financial markets then you can still be hired i have seen many many people uh, from uh, engineering background working in quant uh, risk management nowadays right uh, so yeah for this category i would say specialization doesn't matter much um, right so overall i would say computer science is the specialization you should go for if you really have to choose something right uh, because you will be learning mathematics there you will be learning some statistic machine learning there and you will be learning algorithm data structure you'll also be learning, learning a lot of coding um, and computer science is an applied discipline so it really helps a lot and also finance is very very numerical and technical nowadays always been in fact right finance has always been very technical you know the portfolio theories were um, you know published uh, 50 60 years back very mathematical uh, just look at some of the macroeconomic models uh, very mathematical again uh, computers were used in economics and finance way back in 50 60s even like 60 70 years so highly technical highly mathematical so if you have a degree in computer science there is an edge but doesn't mean that other specializations are any less relevant they're equally good try to be uh, try to do a, a a specialization that is quantitative that means you learn some mathematics you learn some coding you have uh, you know at least there is a perception that it's a sort of a mathematical quantitative sort of uh, a specialization and uh, you are a good technical person right if you have a degree in a, a master degree in electrical engineering well the perception is that you must be good in mathematics you must be good in you know, technical area otherwise you wouldn't be doing a, an electrical engineering uh, specialization right so that's quite 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 uh, important to know right uh, having said that um, there are areas where less technical uh, specializations are also preferred i have seen people from civil liberal arts background uh, you know working in in quant areas also especially in quant risk management area many people from liberal arts background i have seen working there right um, 
you know, it, 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 it's not like liberal arts background people don't know any mathematics. I know many commerce graduate, many arts graduate doing very good mathematics, uh, um, good mathematics. You know, many economists know more mathematics than uh, many engineers. And, you know, this has been my experience, actually. Right. So that's the answer to your question that which specialization uh, to summarize. Uh, if you have to choose, really have to choose, go for computer science. Uh, if you really have money and time, then go for a master's degree in financial engineering in Europe or US. That's uh, amazing. But if you do not have these options, these two options, then do any any master's degree. It doesn't really, you know, economics, finance, uh, or commerce, MBA finance, uh, MTech, or MSc in any uh, science or engineering discipline. That will do. Okay. Thanks for watching the video and see you in another video. Thanks.